everyone comes alive when we draw the ancient lane farm. Any animal I draw, I become in GTA 5. I want to be a dog, so let's draw this cute little pug. He's kind of brown, and then he's got four little legs, just like this. Yeah, right, there you go. Wow, that looks like a dog, James. Great job. Then he's got his head over here. Cute little curly tail in the back. And this looks more like a cat than a dog. But it's all right, guys. We're going to tap this thing three times, and we should become that dog. Then we can live as a dog and see what a dog life is like. That's just to see if it works. After this, we're gonna draw something big and something scary and dangerous and stuff. All right, he's got some eyes and then a kind of a sad mouth. I don't know why. <laughs> Can we become a dog? Let's find out. One, two, three. He's gone from my screen and check it out. We are a dog. Now we gotta find another animal to draw so we can become that animal. Oh, this is great. Look at this go. Yes. <laughs> hey, look at this. More dogs. Can we play with the dogs? Wait a minute. That's not a dog. That's a piggy. Oh, guys, should we become a pig? Well, let's draw it. So he's got some hooves that are kind of thin. Little leg over here as well. Guys, while I'm drawing this pig, leave a like on the video. Let's see if we can get 100,000 likes. Now, after this, I think we should draw some kind of a monster animal, you know? Oh, and I've got a plan. We're gonna go to the swamp. And we're gonna see if we can find something scary in the water over there. All right, so the piggy has a pretty strange head with like a snout. Yeah, kind of like this, right? And then he's got some ears over here and a very big curly tail. There you go. Guys, I don't want to brag, all right? But if that's not the most beautiful pig you've ever seen, he's even happy. I don't even know anymore. One, two, three. Oh, and we're a pig. No way. Oh, get out of the way, doggos. We are going to go to the swamp. Come on, piggy. There you go. Yeah, whoa. He's a fast piggy. Look at him go. <laughs> Guys, I knew it. There are monsters in the swamp. Look at that thing over there. What is that? All right, we're gonna try and get close so I know what it looks like. Then we're gonna draw it and become it. Ew, it kind of looks like a frog or something. Ew. He's got his weird frog body, kind of like this. And some really muscular arms, kind of like this. And he's got those weird fins in between his fingers. Very strange. Kind of like that. And he's got this big frog head with those weird eyes oh boy look guys it doesn't have to be a one-on-one -on -one replica all right it just has to look like the animal so we can become it i want to see if we can swim as a frog or maybe even eat another animal just gonna color him a frog friend over here and all we gotta do is give him some big legs very froggy you know all right he does kind of look like an alien though if we become an alien <laughs> oh guys should we draw aliens and become those if you think so post a comment saying alien pizza right now <gasps> guys what if we can find a crocodile in the waters hold on all right then we've got also a little bit of a fin over here right ladies and gentlemen let's become a giant monster frog one two three oh check this out <gasps> we're a frog but now can we eat the piggy that we were just living as? Come on, eat him. And um, nom, 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 nom. Whoa! Ew, we just ate the pig. Oh, no. All right, guys, let's see if we can swim, huh? Into the water. There are crocodiles here, though, so we definitely got to watch out. They say so cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a crocodile. That's a crocodile. Oh, it's chasing us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got to get out. We got to get out of the water. Oh, my goodness. Yo, yo, yo. That's bad. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. We got to get up on the land. Come on, hurry up. Oh. All right, let's see. Um, Wait, I know. We got to do a top-down drawing, kind of like this, right? And then it's got a tail over here, like that. All right, I think he's actually asleep. And then his head over there. All right, let's color this one in, though. And all we got to do is give it some spikes so we can become a crocodile alligator thing. I still don't know the difference. Oh, and guys, I've got an idea. You see over there in the distance somewhere? That's like a mountain, right? We can find a forest on top of that mountain maybe we can also find a werewolf all right so now we need some fins on his feet there you go and on his hands as well there you go just like that oh beautiful oh wait we gotta give him some eyeballs of course so let's do that right over here and a nice smiley there you go he's very <laughs> he looks so happy <laughs> all right that last one was kind of stupid let's see if we can become an alligator or crocodile whatever one two Three. No way, guys. Check it out. <gasps> Wait. We got oxygen. We're running out of oxygen. Oh, no. I need water. I need water. Hold on. We're gonna die. Oh, no. That's so bad. Wait, let's see. Is this water? Come on, man. Oh, yes. There we go. There we go. We got oxygen again. This is crazy, guys. We are an actual crocodile. Oh, look at this. No way. That 
is the craziest thing, right? That is insane. Oh no, wait, we can't go up the mountain to find a werewolf because then I run out of oxygen. So this has got to be the ocean. Oh yes, oh yes, oh this is so cool. Oh guys, over here, <gasps> wait, there's a human. Can we eat the human? I see a bunch of crows though. Maybe we can draw that and then fly to the mountain. Oh wait, get back into the water. You had 5% oxygen. All right, you know what? Let's draw this crow. Crow, whatever. It's just a small little bird, all right? Kind of like, kind of like this. Then with some feet over here. That looks like absolutely nothing, man. What am I doing? You know what, guys? Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's, it's totally fine, all right? As long as the game understands what I want to become, it should be okay. So let's put a little beak on there, just like that. That is, uh, that, that, that is a bad drawing. We started off great with the little dog, but you know what? I'm just gonna draw crow. Let's see if we can become a bird so we can fly up and find a werewolf. One, two, three. Oh, guys, I think it worked. It's off my phone screen and we have become a birdo. All right, let's see. We're going to fly up. Come on, birdo. There you go. Whoa, we're flying. Oh, no. No way. We are totally flying. Oh, that's so cool. Right, let's keep it going, birdo. Let's keep it going. We got to fly all the way to the mountain. Oh, my goodness. That is far away. How do birds do this? All right, guys, here we are on the mountain. Is that it? Is that a werewolf? It's gotta be, right? Let's very carefully land somewhere. Nice and careful. Nice and careful, Birdo. What? Oh, that is a werewolf. Here we go. We have landed. Nice and careful now. Because I want to get a closer look at that werewolf. All right, so let's very carefully draw him. He's got these long, hairy arms. Very hairy. Kind of like this, you know? Oh, that kind of looks like a spider. Ew. And his body over here. Another arm, of course. Then that head. Oh, man. That is something. There we go. I think this is uh, pretty close to him, right? We do have to remove just a little bit, I think. And his legs. I mean, he's kind of sitting down, though, so it's hard to see. But I can imagine it's something like this. Don't think werewolves wear shoes. Now for his face. There you go. That's... <laughs> Let's not just go wrong at the face. Wait, he's got yellow eyes, I believe. Ooh, that's a little better. Guys, I don't know about you, but that looks amazing. One, two, three. Oh, yes, guys, it's gone from my phone and check it out. We are an actual werewolf. This is awesome. We could just run through the forest like this. This is awesome, guys. Look at us. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Are we being chased? Is that a monkey? Hey there, monkey. How are you doing? Wait, wait, monkey, monkey, stay right over here, all right? Hey, where are you going? I want to draw you. Guys, we can become a monkey. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Give him some legs. He's got some hands, of course, and some feet. A little bit on his chest as well. Make everything black. He's going to be a pretty monkey, that's right. A little bit over here in his face. Yeah, happy monkey, of course. There we go. All right, and I shouldn't forget his ears, otherwise he can't hear. Look at that monkey. One, two, three. He's gone from my phone, and we have... Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Are we a monkey? Whoa! Wait, we're a we're a massive monkey. Hold on. What happened? Did I not draw it correctly? Yo, guys, we are massive. That is quite the animal. Holy mackerel! This has got to be the biggest animal in the world. Every SCP that I draw on my phone is gonna come to life in GTA 5. So let's draw the first one, SCP. 173. He's got these weird small little arms, just like that. And then those strange legs. Oh. Now, this SCP scientist over here, he taught me something. I forgot what it was, though. Oh, James, I don't think you should draw an SCP. You're never gonna survive till 3 a.m. Uh, we will see about that. We're gonna draw this SCP and survive till 3 a.m. So, let's call it this one in and let's see what time is it. It is. 13, 14. So we got plenty of time, right? This SCP is also known as the peanut. Because quite frankly, he does kind of look like a peanut, right? So this is his body, of course. Now we draw some scary red stuff that he's got going on in his face. Whoa. Then he's got two kind of brown eyes right over here. And believe it or not, two kind of green eyes right up here. Oh, James, don't bring him to life, man. Hey, Mr. Scientist, you can't tell me what to do. We're going to bring him to life by tapping my phone screen three times. It is already two o'clock though, so we gotta kind of hurry up. One, two, three. It's gone for my phone and check it out. That is the first SCP. No way. James, well, whatever you do, do not look away. Do not look away. Why would I not look away? Wait, where's the SCP? Where is the SCP? James, this is what I mean. It was a bad idea. What do you mean a bad idea? It's fine. Oh, wait, he's behind us. Oh, okay. Let's just 
Keep an eye out on the SCP. Don't look away. It is. You must draw another SCP. Quickly. Right, right, right. I know what to do, all right? We're going to draw another SCP. This is going to be 096. Keep your eyes on the SCP, though. He's not moving, right? He's not moving. All right, let's quickly draw this one. He's got these really long, super skinny arms. Oh, this is going to be a scary one. He's got some hips over here. Oh, yes. And, of course, some really long really skinny legs oh boy what time is it by the way three o'clock already oh boy we gotta survive for 12 more hours all right and now for his head this dude has a really scary kind of screaming you mouth sure you know that? wait a minute this is shy guy if you look at him he's gonna charge which is the opposite of this dude over there all right he's got these big eyes and then these weird tired things and he's got like ribs and stuff i mean this dude is this dude is absolutely creepy. And he's kind of screaming at you with his big mouth. Kind of like this, you know? Yeah, that kind of looks like him. <laughs> All right, then. Let's see if we can get rid of this first SCP by grabbing this one. One, two, three. He's gone for my phone. Oh, he's behind me, isn't he? He's behind me, isn't he? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to turn around. Wait, but I also got to look at this dude. I got a plan. I'm just gonna slowly walk around. Oh, why is he looking at me like this? <gasps> Wait, there he is. That's SCP. Okay, we cannot look at him. Oh, uh, jeez. I, I think, I think I'm looking at him. <laughs> oh, scientist, you gotta stop looking at him, man. I, I'm, I'm too scared. I can't stop looking. We're gonna draw something for him. We're gonna yeah. draw a wall. Just a super quick wall, just like this. And it has a few chips in it, like this. And I think a board in the center. It doesn't matter. We're gonna draw something super fast. Go. <laughs> okay, that was... That was too close. So now we can see the other SCP without looking at it. Because we got a wall in between. Oh, wait, what just happened? Oh my goodness, he's a monster. Dude, he's totally massive. Yo, scientist, what? What happened? Oh, he's gonna display us. He can see us again. Oh, no, draw, draw the doctor. The doctor? <gasps> SCP-049. Hold on. I can draw that one. Let's get rid of this. Uh, he's got these dark robes. Kind of like this. Let's color all of that in. And after we brought him back to life, we're going to ask him how to make a giant SCP. Clearly, Shy Guy did something to make himself really big. I just don't know what he did. All right. And this SCP also has a mask kind of like this. Oh, yes. And some dark, scary eyes like that. And I think he's also got some feet over here, just like that. Ah, beautiful. Look at that. Some scary doctor's hands. Oi, oi, oi. And on those doctor's hands is a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> some uh, ketchup. Guess he likes hamburgers. That's right. <laughs> Let's see if it works, guys. One, two, three. Oh, I feel a little weird. <laughs> oh, no, wait. He's gone for my phone, but... What happened to the scientist? A sacrifice was made. Now, <laughs> make this SCP nice and big. All right, I can do that. I got my phone. Draw a giant green arrow. A giant green arrow. All right, I can draw that. You color it all in. All right, color it all in. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you, Mr. SCP. Here we go, just like that. Now, right, grow. Right, grow. All right, I can do that. Uh, grow, just like that. Ten, three, times. Wow. All right, I, 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 I can do that. I, I know how to do that. One, two, three. He's gone for my phone, but look how dark it is. Oh, my goodness, it, it is way dark. Um, oh, oh, boy. But he's there. It's a giant SCP-173. Guys, yes, we got to draw some lights because ah, oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, no, where did he go? destroy Oh no, oh no, oh, oh, he's coming for us. Oh, we gotta hide. We gotta hide in this building over here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. and go. Oh, wait a minute. I think that's the peanut over there. What time is it, by the way? Is it almost 3 a.m.? Oh, it's 10 o'clock already. Let's draw a flashlight so that I can actually see something. You know, it's way too dark out here. There we go. Just like that. This is the handle. Right. And then in here, we're going to have the actual light, of course, which is yellow. There we go. Oh, boy. My drawings are not as accurate anymore. I got to chill. We're being hunted by two giant SCP. Wait a minute. Where's the doctor? Oh, oh, dude, stop scaring me. Ho, oh, oh. right, I drew my flashlight. Let's tap it. One, two, three. Yes, I got it. All right. Oh, 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 oh boy. Um, Doc, what are we gonna draw, man? I'm telling you, both the SCPs are... Yeah, wait a minute. I see only one. I see only one SCP. Where did the other one go? Ah, oh, no. He's right next to us. Oh, 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 oh. He's right next to us. Doc, what do we have to draw, man? There's one SCP. Very happy. Nine, nine, nine. <gasps> wait, I know what you're 
what you're talking about. Hold on. SCP-999 is this happy orange dude. It's actually a friendly SCP. Unlike these other SCPs, I don't even know why the doc is helping us. Because you won't make it to 3 a.m. <laughs> ah, see, he's totally evil. But this one is friendly and happy. And you can use him as bait. <laughs> no, that's not good. I'm so sorry. By the way, what time is it? <gasps> it's 2 a.m. Oh, no. We have one hour remaining. All right, so this SCP has a super happy mouth just like this. And then he's got a bunch of candy. So let's draw a blue lollipop right over here. Maybe he's also got like a green uh, worm kind of candy and a red gummy bear. And he's got some eyes and they are very separated. I mean, I'm not judging him. You know, that's just the way it is. There you go. Oh, that's a cute SCP, everyone. One, two, three. All right, dog, he's off my phone. Let's see if we can see him somewhere here. Holy mackerel. Oh, no, 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 no. He's crawling through the building. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, but he's got to be outside. That's got to be him. Oh, my goodness. Yo, 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 yo. We got to get out. We got to get out. And I think we can hide behind him. Let's see. What time is it? <gasps> it's three. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, and he's behind us again. Guys, we survived till 3 a.m. That's one more thing we got to draw. And that is a giant nuclear bomb. And we're going to get rid of all the SCPs that are here. Oh, man. And then we will have survived all the way to 3 a.m. One, two, three. <laughs> yes, there it is. Beautiful. So now we got to detonate it. I know. I'm just going to hit it. And go. Oh, and we wake up at the hospital, guys, we did it! Anything I draw on my phone comes to life in GTA 5. We're gonna draw a bunch of ultrasonics to rescue baby Sonic. So ultrasonic has got his hair kind of like this, right? And then this would be his head. And this is his body with his belly right in the center. His mouth right over here. Very happy. And his eyes right over here. Oh, man. I think we gotta color him in a little bit. Because if my drawing is not accurate enough, then ultrasonic is not gonna come to life in GTA 5. We need him to rescue baby Sonic because there's like a bunch of mega robots over there. Oh, actually, guys, I think Super Sonic has got some kind of red eyes, right? Yes, this looks great. Guys, he's gonna come to life. This is gonna be awesome. Not sure if Ultra Sonic has got red shoes just like regular Sonic. There you go. Have a little bit of white over here as well. And guys, that looks like a Super Ultra Sonic, right? No, it's not Super Sonic. It's Ultra. One, two, three. He's gone from my phone and in the game. Look at that. All right, Sonic, buddy, listen. You're gonna have to distract those mega robots. And there he goes. Oh, this is great. Guys, let's quickly draw some binoculars so we can see what's going on over there. I can't believe Sonic just ran right into there. Now that is some fast binoculars. There you go. One, two, three. Ah, yes. Very nice. Now we can see a little better. Oh, man, Sonic is standing right in front of the Omega Robots. Hey, wait a minute. Do I see an Ultra Sonic over there? That is no good. He probably wants to rescue baby Sonic. Not gonna happen. I have to upgrade my Omega Robots. Quickly, quickly. I must draw a laser minigun. This thing will be strong enough to destroy Ultra Sonic. Let's see if I remember how to draw this. We've got a big cylinder. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on over there? <laughs> yes, this will be the barrel. And these are the lasers that will destroy Ultra Sonic. Now, we need a handle to hold on to. And another one, right over here. Then, over here, an energy storage unit to store all the laser energy. Beautiful. Now, to tap three times and upgrade my Omega Robot. One, two, three. Upgrade received new weapon acquired. Oh, no. Do I see that right? Yes, the Omega Robot has a weapon. Now, my Omega Robot, blast down that Sonic. Target acquired. Warning up. Minigun firing sequence starting soon. Uh, uh. Oh no, this is bad. Wait a minute. If Dr. Emmett can do that, we can do it too. We're gonna turn Ultra Sonic into Ultra Shadow. I've pulled up the drawing we just made for Ultra Sonic. And now we're just gonna turn him into Shadow. Ultra Shadow. And let's also give him those big hands. There you go. And Ultra Shadow doesn't quite have that belly. Oh, but he does have something else. I think it's right over here, you know, just like that on his chest. All right, let's see if we can bring Ultra Shadow to life. In GTA 5, 1, 2, 3. Wait a minute, he's not here at all. If I look a little closer, <gasps> of course we have upgraded Sonic into Shadow. That's because I used the existing drawing. But now it's gone again and that's why he's alive. Oh my goodness. Hey, what are you waiting on? Fire away. Rain gun, warm up, shooting, initialize, destroy target. <laughs> no way, he's totally taking it. And he's surviving. <gasps> Wait, what happened to the Omega Robot? <laughs> The end of the
What? How did this happen to my mega robot? Uh, I'm finally getting in there. No, you're not, you little rascal. Guys, I've got another plan. We're gonna draw a muscle just like this. So that is a hand right over here. And this is like a bicep. We're also gonna draw a big green arrow. Wow, that is one ugly arrow, I gotta admit. But if we tap this three times and it comes to life in GTA, then Shadow is gonna get super strong. Oh, and then he can knock out all of the Omega robots and we can rescue Baby Sonic. This is great, but we gotta hurry up because Dr. Eggman, he's probably working on another plan, you know? Oh, let's think of another plan. Let's go. Three, two, one. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yes, that's it. Come on, take him down, Shadow. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, let's go, Shadow. Is he gonna be able to knock him out, though? I know you can do it, buddy. Come on. There you go. Oh, is he not strong enough? Oh, wait, he got one. This is it, guys. Now we can sneak in while they are fighting. We're getting nice and close to baby Sonic. And I think we gotta help him out. He's not strong enough yet. We're gonna have to be very quiet as Shadow distracts Dr. Eggman and all of the mega robots. Oh, yes. And we're gonna draw a banana. With this banana... We can blast down a few Omega Robots. Beautiful! One, two, three! Hey, 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 and there's my trusty banana. Bang! There we go, we got one. Watch out, Shadow! Bang! Yes, I got the other one, too! Awesome! All right, come over here, man. Wait, Shadow, why are you fighting me? Stop it, stop it, Shadow. Come on, man, we are friends. We are friends, stop it! Oh, come on, man. You know what? I'll draw you another Ultra Sonic. Then we can sneak in. Oh, I see Baby Sonic over there. Guys, we're gonna draw Amy. So she's got pretty cute hair, kind of like this, right? With some thingies up on top. And normally, she's all pink and stuff. But this time, she's gonna be Ultra Amy, of course. Maybe she can sweet-talk Dr. Eggman into, you know... Releasing baby Sonic because it's kind of sad that he's stuck in there. All right, and Amy has got this dress, I believe, kind of like this, right? Yep, and then her happy little arms over here. Beautiful, guys, look at this. I do think her arms are a little bit of a different color in her ultra form, though. So let's get rid of them. Sorry, Amy. And we're gonna put them right back on. There we go, guys. These are her legs. And we got a color in her face, of course. I think her dress also has like a line over here. Yes, beautiful. All we need now is some eyes and a happy face. And then Ultra Amy is gonna come to life to help us out, you know. All right, let's give her some hands and some shoes. There we go. <laughs> that looks amazing. If I may say so myself, of course. One, two, three. Oh, look at that, guys. She's here. She's alive in the game. All right, Amy, listen up. You gotta go in there and talk to Dr. Eggman. We gotta rescue baby Sonic. <laughs> and off she goes. Hey, wait a minute. Who is that? <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. We're gonna sneak in. Amy is right over there. Come on, keep it up, Amy. We're gonna, we're gonna sneak on through. We're gonna sneak into the back. Guys, he's right up there. What do you want, Amy? <laughs> No, I am going to destroy him. Guys, what are they talking about? We gotta draw some more help, I think. Now that we are inside, we can draw an extremely powerful Mecha Sonic. So this is gonna be his hair. It's very spiky. And then we're gonna give him a robot body. And of course, it's all gonna be Ultra. And Dr. Eggman will never know that this is happening because we are right behind him. So this is gonna be the visor of the robot because a robot doesn't have eyes, of course. And then now he's gonna have that exoskeleton body just like this. Now, normally he's all purple and stuff with like a dark green exoskeleton. But this time around, I can only imagine that he's gonna be ultra colors, you know? And just as strong as the other ultrasonics. Or even stronger. Ooh. All right, his lower arms are kind of these thick cannons. Yeah, he's been hitting the gym, all right? <laughs> with these cannons, maybe he can blast Dr. Eggman or something. There we go. Now for some skinny robot legs made out of tungsten carbide or something. And his lower legs, of course. Just gotta give him some feet real quick. There you go, just like that. And now all he needs are his metal hands. Just like that. Let's go, guys. I want to see if we can bring him to life. One, two, three. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait, are we Mega? Whoa! Ultra Mega Sonic. We are Mega Sonic. What did it happen? And why does it say Michael on my phone? Well, we were playing as the character Michael, but I think we swapped. That is weird. Did I mess up my drawing? All right, so now we're going to sneak in. I can see Dr. Eggman right over there. Oh, guys, I can hear him up here. Oh, yes, there he is. You're going to take him down. Three, two, one. Bang. Look at that. Hey, baby Sonic, it's me. Come on, man. We're going to rescue you. Hey, Sonic, I draw on my phone comes to life in GTA 
survive. And Baby Sonic has been captured by Dr. Eggman. We're over there on top of that building and we're gonna draw to rescue him. So let's go ahead and draw Sonic. This is gonna be his head and of course he's got all that blue fur, right? So let's go ahead and color that in. All right, he also has got some ears, of course, just like that. Now we're gonna give him his body, color that in as well. And when I tap my screen three times, Sonic is gonna come to life and help us rescue baby Sonic. What's oh, so sad? He's always getting captured as stuff. But we're gonna rescue him and it's all gonna work out. So this is gonna be Sonic's mouth over here. And this is his belly. Oh, beautiful. It's a work of art already. And these are gonna be his eyes, just like that. I have to draw it accurately, otherwise this doesn't work. One arm, two arms, a leg right over here, and also over here, of course. A nose and some pupils. He's gonna have to have some hands, of course, too, eh? And he also has shoes. Yes, right like that. With a little bit of red, a little bit of white, and a little bit of gold. Guys, if that's not Sonic, I don't even know anymore. Let's see if we can bring him to life. One, two, three. And he's off my phone screen, and there he is in the game. All right, Sonic buddy, listen, we gotta rescue baby Sonic over there. Oh, I've got a plan. We're gonna draw some binoculars so we can see if baby Sonic is actually there. It's the very far away, you know. All right, let's fill that in with some gray. Beautiful. Give it some light blue-ish lenses. There you go. And now let's tap. One, two, three. Three. There we go, guys. We got the binoculars. Now, let's see. Oh, yes. I can see Dr. Eggman there. And also, baby Sonic. Oh, he looks so scared. Hey, wait a minute. What do I see over there? Is that a Sonic hiding in a bush? Oh, no. They must be coming to rescue baby Sonic. That is not going to happen. I will draw in a mega robot. Wait a minute, guys. What? What is he doing? It is time to pull off the defenses. This will be the upper body of my Omega robot. It will defend me from this pesky Sonic. Some slats over here and some wide shoulders. Then we draw the rest of the body. Yes, yes, it is coming together. Now for the head. A strong helmet and red glowing eyes. Of course, the Omegas have to be on there. Right like this. The waist. Then... The actual legs made out of strong titanium metal. That is right, baby Sonic. You will not escape. Let's give this robot some arms to bring it to life. My creation is almost done. He just needs those big claws. Ooh, and his feet to crush Sonic once and for all. So let's finish this. My Omega robot, come to life. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what? Did he just draw an Omega Robot and bring him to life? Are you kidding me? Sonic, my man, you gotta take down the Omega Robot, distract him, and I will rescue baby Sonic, all right? All right, there he goes. Come on, Sonic, get him. Let's see, we're gonna go the other way and sneak around. Threat not detected. <laughs> it looks like Sonic is trying to attack my Omega Robot. Identifying not a threat. Oh man, oh man, oh man, Sonic is struggling big time. All right, we're gonna sneak on by. <gasps> I can see them up on the roof. You know what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna draw a, um... Oh, I know, an air vent. So this is the vent, and it's in a square frame. And it's got all those fan blades. Kind of like this, you know? And this spins around. Wow, what a beautiful contraption. One, two, three. Oh, guys, look, it worked. So if we jump onto this thing, we can fly onto the roof and rescue baby Sonic. Requesting assistance to remove annoying hedgehog. Ah, so you want more powers? I can draw that for you. Wait, wait a minute, what? What are they doing? My Omega Robot, let me draw for you a strong muscle so you can crush Sonic. Yes, yes, this looks good. One, two, three, power up. Oh no, what's happening to the Omega Robot? Engaging, engaging, power overload, warning, warning. Oh no, he's gonna fight back now. Oh, is that gonna be bad? Come on, Sonic, take him down, take him down. Oh boy, oh, he's got lasers. Oh no, oh, Sonic. What happened to Sonic? Oh no, oh no, guys, we gotta jump on this thing. Whoa, yo, 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 land on the building. Land on the building. Oh, I can see baby Sonic. They're right over here. Oh man, oh man, oh, man. there they are. They are literally right over here. Hmm, where did that pesky James go? Sonic is nicely cleaned up, and I gotta make sure I protect myself. Quickly, quickly, draw a barrier. Super fast. Three, two, one. Oh, wait, where did this thing come from? Oh, 
Did he draw that so fast? Oh, no. Guys, I don't know what to do. So we're going to draw Amy. Maybe she knows. So she's got this kind of hair, right? Yeah, a little bit. Color that in because she's very pink. Nice. So now we're going to color in her ears. We're going to ask her what we can do to take down this barrier. Because baby Sonic is in there with Dr. Eggman. Oh, he's going to do some bad stuff to him, right? Oh, no. <laughs> James doesn't know this, but baby Sonic. Oh, I'm going to do some bad stuff to you. Wait, did he just literally say he's going to do bad stuff? Oh, man, we got to draw a little faster, guys. Oh, man, baby Sonic is in so much trouble now. We got to hurry up and finish drawing Amy. Mm, I should draw a nice weapon. Oh, yes, and I'm going to test it. Use it on baby Sonic. Oh, no. Did he just say he's going to draw something as well? Mm, yes. Oh, this pistol is going to be perfect. Nice and powerful. This will only require a single bullet. So that I am going to draw as well and bring to life by tapping it three times. Yo, guys, we really got to hurry up. Is he drawing a pistol? All right, let's give Amy some legs. And she's going to have to help us out super fast. Now for her boots like this. Almost finished. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no, guys. He's almost done. Oh, but so are we. We just got to color in the boots nice and fast. Then give Amy some nice eyes just like that. Beautiful. A little bit of a mouth, a nose, and some eyes. All right. That should be Amy. Oh, and that should be my pistol. <laughs> One, two, three. My pistol is done. And soon, baby Sonic will be done as well. <laughs> my phone is empty. And look at this. Amy is here. Amy, please, you can help us out. Baby Sonic is inside of this barrier, and Dr. Dragman is gonna do something really bad. Oh, I'm gonna A C4? You mean an explosive? That baby Sonic is never gonna survive that. Oh, but I can draw that. Hold on. Then we can shoot the barrier without, well, destroying baby Sonic. So let's draw that. I used to have this a long time ago. And I think I kind of remember what it looked like. So we had like a trigger over here. And this went up like that. Yes. Yes. We gotta hurry up. Oh, baby Sonic. This went down like so. And there was a great thing over here that you can pull to reload. And the handle, of course. There you go. Some gray slots over here. Some black part over here. And of course, those barrels over here. Little bit of an orange tip and we are ready to rumble. Well, guys, I don't want to brag, but that looks awesome. Oh, wait, we got to hurry up. One, two, three. Oh, Amy, it worked. I got it. All right, so now we're going to shoot the barrier. <laughs> and I'm going to shoot this baby Sonic. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get rid of all of these things. Oh, bang. Stop it. Stop it, Dr. Eggman. And bang. Oh, I think we got him. No way. Hey, baby Sonic, are you all right? Oh. He's still alive! Oh, we totally... Oh, oh, but this one... Oh, no. We totally did it, guys! Anything I draw on my phone comes to life in GTA 5. And right over there is FNAF Prison Island, where the blob from Security Breach has captured baby Freddy! And we gotta rescue him, of course! We gotta get to that island, but I don't know how, so let's draw an evil animatronic to help us out this... It's gonna be glitch trap. But that's gonna be his head. And this is gonna be his body. Then he's got some arms over here. Just like that. And when I tap my phone screen three times in a row, glitch trap is gonna come to life in the game. All right, let's color him in. And now we just need a nice little bow tie over here. Now the blob may be evil, but the stuff we're drawing today is gonna be way more eviler. Give her some nice teeth, just like that. Some eyeballs, just like that. And I think that's it. That should be glitch trap. We're gonna find out if it works. One, two, three. Oh, yes, it did work. Look, this trap is gone from my phone and he's right over here. <laughs> Make a banana. Oh, of course. A banana boat. So that we can drive that over the water to the island. So that kind of looks like a banana, right? And the banana also has a steering thing over there. I want to take Glitch Trap with us, so we're gonna go ahead and copy. Did that work? Oh, it did! Nice! Two bananas, please! One, two, three! Yes! Look at this! Come on, hop on the back! Awesome, and now we can... Whoa! Wait a minute! This is not a boat! Oh, I didn't draw it right! Oh, wait a minute! The drawing is still on my phone, and there's tires now! I, I didn't draw those! <laughs> Hi! Glitch Trap! Did... 
Did you do this? Let's get rid of everything. And you know what? To get to the island, I just gotta draw a bridge, right? So this is gonna be the road. And I think there's like red and white in between like this, like racing stripes. And I think there's also a little bit of blue. If this works, I'm a genius. One, two, three. Well, it's gone and I can't believe it. It's in the game. Let's go. We gotta hurry for baby Freddy. You don't know what the blob is gonna do. Oh man, I see the blob right over there. All right, stay over here, all right? Stay on a minute. And now let's see. Oh, I can see the blob right over here. Whoa. And I think there's baby Freddy right behind him. Oh no. Let's see if we can sneak in. Oh man, if the blob sees us, we got a problem. What is he doing though? <laughs> I need protection, so let's draw some guards. My burn trap will protect me. Yes, yes. He will be so powerful. Baby Freddy is mine. I will keep him hostage over here on my prison island. That's it. That's it. Burn Trap, come to life. One, two, three. Burn Trap, initialize. Freddy, Freddy. Oh, wait, what in the world? I did not draw that. Are you kidding me? Wait, the blob can draw stuff? We're gonna draw a distraction. So last time we drew Glamrock Freddy. But that's not gonna surprise the blob. So this time we're gonna make him into a lucky one. So he's got that big question mark over here. Just like that. And now we're gonna make him into all kinds of rainbow colors. So he's got a little bit of blue over here and a little bit over here. We need some proper green. Let's go. He's gonna have a green hat. <laughs> this is gonna surprise the blob and distract him so we can sneak past the burn traps. <gasps> Wait, no. Guys, I got a plan. We're gonna draw a banana, but not one to drive, one to shoot. We're gonna put a suppressor on it so it's really Really quiet. Oh, and this lucky Glamrock Freddy is gonna work out beautifully. All right, we just need a little bit more pink, I think. I think pink. Yeah, that's right. There you go. That looks amazing. All right, let's see if we can bring him to life. All right, one, two, three. Oh, guys, I think that worked. Oh, Glamrock Freddy, you are all lucky and fancy and stuff. Go in there and distract the blob. Hey, primitive test received. Oh, man, there he goes. Oh, no. Intruder detected. Attack, attack. Oh, no, that didn't sound so good. Destroy, destroy. Oh, guys, they're right over here. Oh, no, wait, they're gonna see me. Oh, this is terrible. <gasps> oh, no, but he's on the ground. But now the burn traps are right over here. Let's be super quiet and draw the banana pistol. Quickly, quickly, quickly. They're gonna see me. So that's the banana, but it has to be very quiet. So we're gonna put a suppressor on it. Or silencer. So that the blob doesn't hear us. One, two, three. Nice, we got it. Now let's very quietly take out these burn traps just like that. Now we can sneak into the prison. Is that baby Freddy there? Psst, baby Freddy, baby Freddy over here. Oh man, yo, okay, uh, let's see. What are we gonna draw to get him out of there? Oh, let's see, it's gonna have to be like a key or something, right? Oh, but I can just draw a key. Let's go. So this is like the center part and this is this, you know, turn thingy. And then the teeth are right over here. Yes. That kind of looks like a key, right? Now, if that's not a key, I don't even know anymore, guys. One, two, three. Whoa, wait, hold on. Oh, no. That's way too big and way too loud. Well, the key is gone from my phone, but I think I drew it too big. Hey, what was that? Oh, oh, no, oh, no, the blob heard something. We gotta draw a distraction super quickly. As in, before he turns around, you know. This is gonna be Roxanne. So those are her feet and legs, just like that. And she's got that red armor and a black belt. Although I don't think she can do karate. If she can, then she's welcome to whoop some butt, you know. Because this blob dude is coming and we gotta watch out. All right, and now some more red armor, just like that. It's starting to look like Roxy. There we go, just like that. She's got those fancy shoulder pads, just like Glamrock Freddy. Two of them, of course. And then she's got this Glamrock star right over here. She's got to get some arms, of course. All right, some quick hands. And our head, of course. That doesn't look much like a wolf, I gotta admit. Ah, but it's all right. It's gotta be Roxy. I just know it. With her big hair like this all over the place, you know, and going to the back. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, no, this is so cursed. He's also got some weird zebra-looking stripes. Also over here, actually. You gotta give her a smiley face, though. <laughs> and some eyeballs so she can see the blob. Just like that. Beautiful. Wow, that does look a little weird, but that should be Roxanne. <laughs> Whoa, three. Oh, yes, there she is. Let's go, Roxy. So while she's going and distracting the blob, we're gonna try and move this giant key. Wait, wait a minute. What is she Oh man, he's totally confused. He is totally confused. We're gonna move in. Hey, baby Freddy, 
Baby Freddy over here, buddy. Yes, there you go. It's me, James. All right, um, let's see. Maybe we can build this open or something. Because that key is going to be way too big. And hello, Bob. What is it you see? Oh, man, she's totally distracting. This is perfect. All right, let's keep shooting away so we can break this open. Uh, I don't have time. Quickly, draw the music man. <laughs> My most powerful helper. Protect baby. Freddy, we need his spider arms attached to his animatronic body and his musical elements. If James thinks he can rescue baby Freddy, I've got news for him. It's not happening. This is beautiful. Little Music Man, come to life. Three, two, one. Whoa, wait, what is that? Phew. Oh, there it goes open. We gotta get baby Freddy out of here before that thing comes here. But I remember drawing this helicopter. Does that still work? One, two, three. <gasps> it does work. What is happening? Oh, no, he knows. Baby Freddy, you gotta hurry up and he's coming for us. Yes, yes, there you go. Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Whoa, and we're out. We're out. We got it, guys. We drew a bunch of evil stuff and we got baby Freddy. Anything I draw on my phone comes to life in GTA 5. So let's start by drawing drawing spider-man so we can rescue baby spider-man he has been captured by the green goblin but thankfully we have the power to draw anything we want and bring it to life so these are spider-man's legs now we're gonna make his body right over here oh beautiful then a nice arm and another arm whoa that's a big one <laughs> gonna give him a little bit more blue and then he should come to life should we draw some more stuff like right over here i get a little spider on his chair <laughs> oh beautiful and now all we need is his head of course there you go. We do have to hurry up a little bit because it's baby Spider-Man. The green goblin is gonna do all kinds of bad stuff, you know. And there you go. That looks like a Spider-Man to me. We're gonna get rid of this because now we're gonna tap three times and he should come to life in GTA 5. I like that it rhymes. One, two, three. Oh, he's gone for my phone. Oh! And he's in game! How does he have a different colored spider though? Now this is a heli platform, so let's draw the Spider-Man helicopter. There we go, gonna give that a little window. Is there also blue? I don't know, but this is one rotor. Here's the other one. A little bit of landing gear, and that right there is a Spidey a helicopter. One, two, three. <laughs> and look at that, we get the Spidey copter. Come on, Spider-Man, we gotta rescue the cute little baby Spider-Man. Three, two, one, lift off. Oh boy, I see them over there. We gotta be careful though, let's land the helicopter helicopter right over here there we go just like that venom is right over there we're gonna draw someone who is strong enough to destroy venom and then spider-man can rescue baby spider-man yes this is a smart plan so we are gonna draw do you guys know him already he's big he's green He's got some kind of purple pants. Oh, yes. It's our friend, the Hulk. But it's a special Hulk. So he's got some different colored green. It's more like yellow lines or something through him. It's really weird. But that makes him extremely strong. So let's give him some pants over here. <laughs> Beautiful. So now for his big stompy feet. And all we got to do is put his head on there. There you go. That's a really small head. And it's more like chiseled, you know. It's like a... It's like a muscular box of muscles, you know? That's more what I'm talking about. One eyeball, two, and a nice little smiley. <laughs> now nah, we can't do that. The hook is... The hook is like this, you know. Oh, does he also have hair? I think he has a little bit. Actually, I don't know. Oh, man, is this gonna be the whole guy? <laughs> One, two, three. Well, my phone screen is empty, so he must be in the game somewhere. But, uh, hey, Spidey, do you see him? I do hear something, though. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude! Hulk! Oh, no! Dude, what are you... What are you doing, man? Oh, but look, it's him. It's exactly the hope we drew. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, so Venom. Oh, no. Ah, what was that? Oh, no. Looks like the Hulk is here. <laughs> oh, no. Hulk, we have been spotted. You gotta take down Venom. Where, where, where is Venom? Oh, wait. Here he is. Oh, no. That's bad. Hulk, you gotta help me, man. Ah. Oh, he's gonna eat my face. He's gonna eat my face. No, please let go of me. Please let go of me. Guys, we're gonna have to draw something real quick. I'm gonna draw a bush. Very quickly, so we can hide from Venom. One, two, three. Oh, man, we gotta hide in here. We gotta hide in here. Oh, no. Is the Hulk gonna win? Guys, can we help the Hulk? I am going to draw a super power-up for Venom. Wait, can he draw something as well? Oh, no, it's not looking good. What is happening over there? Ah, beautiful. Now I'm gonna tip, tip, tip. Whoa. Wait, Hulk, dude, what did you do? <gasps> Wait, did he win? Oh, wait, he's gone. Wait, where did Venom go? Guys, the green goblin is right over there with baby Spider-Man. He can also draw things. Oh, no, it's 
Spider-Man is down. Oh, no. I'm going to draw something for our buddy Spider-Man over here. R.I.P. Spider-Man. There we go. Just like that. Oh, it's a little tombstone for our buddy Spider-Man. One, two, three. Yep, that worked. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to draw a new monster. One so big and powerful. James is never gonna live. That's right. A giant venom. The huge tongue that can eat baby Spider-Man in a single bite. Oh, no. The Green Goblin. He's drawing something. Yo, ho, come with me. We're gonna hide over here and we're gonna draw something as well. Because clearly the hook is not gonna be strong enough to take down a giant venom. So we're gonna draw another Spider-Man. But this one is gonna be a little quicker because, oh my goodness, I think he's drawing another venom. All right, a little bit of blue, but this time a little bit more light blue, I think. Because this is gonna be some kind of a super Spider-Man. That's right, he will have these big claws in the back, you know? Just like that. Nice. And a little bit over here. Because I think he has four of those claws. All right, that is the spider as well. The first one was a little nicer, I think. But that's fine. Let's see if this Spider-Man can come to life fast. One, two, three. My drawing is gone. And oh, wait, there he is. Yo, look at that Spider-Man. Oh, he's got all the blue stuff. Oh, yes. Nice. Yeah, and my drawing is done. One, two, three. Oh, no. Did the Green Goblin just do the three taps? That must mean he has drawn something. Oh, 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 what in the world? Oh, giant Venom. Giant Venom, run, everyone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Spider-Man, please help me. Oh, he's trying to fight him. Oh, jeez Louise. This is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Tiny Spider-Man is not going to be strong enough to take down Giant Venom, right? Wait, but the Green Goblin, he drew some kind of a booster. So maybe we can do that too while we are flying through the air. Let's see. I need some green. There you go. Then I need to draw a giant arrow. All right, just like that. And maybe this can make Spider-Man really big. Oh, man. I am really strong, though. All right, Spider-Man. This has to upgrade you. One, two, three. Whoa, and I think it worked. Oh, he's a giant. No way. Buddy, you can help me out, man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And they're fighting it out. Oh, this is so cool. Come on, Spider-Man. While they are fighting it out, I'm going to get in here and see what's up. Wait, Spider-Man, what are you doing? Did he destroy giant Venom? Whoa, yes, he did. He did destroy Giant Venom. Good job, Spidey. Follow me, man. Now we can finally get to the Green Goblin and rescue baby Spider-Man. Oh, yes. I can see them over there. Let's carefully land this helicopter. Come on. There you go. Wait. I gotta get up there somehow. Well, I could draw some stairs, right? There you go. Just like that. And then the actual stairs like this. That really doesn't look like a staircase. No, it does. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. If I just say stairs. Stairs with an arrow pointing. Maybe the game knows that I need some stairs. One, two, three. No way. It actually worked. Oh, finally, we can rescue baby Spider-Man. Ah, quickly, quickly, quickly. I must draw my escape. Yes, of course. My weird little triangle. I can stand right on top of it. It's got blasters and thrusters. So it can fly away through the skies. I must hurry up. James is coming. One, two, three. Hey, wait a minute. Do I hear him? Oh, no. Wait, what was that sound? Hello? Oh, wait, they're gone. Where did he go? Oh, wait. He's right over there. Oh, and he's got that thing. No way. Ow. Oh, dude. What in the world? Uh-oh. Wait, I'm stuck to it. Dude, you gotta let me go, man. Where's baby spider? Whoa. Oh, wait, did he lose us? Okay, we're gonna hide over here. Maybe giant Spider-Man can distract him. Oh, this silly green goblin is gonna get it. I'm gonna draw my rocket launcher. But a homing one that has like a screen over here that you can look through. And a nice homing missile, just like that. And it will go into this thing right over there. All right, beautiful. One, two, three. And there it is. Awesome. All right, let's see. Where is he? Oh, Green Goblin, I know you're around. Oh, man, I hear him. Oh, I see him. Fire! Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, he's got me. He's got me big time. Come on, get up. Oh, wait, he can shoot. Oh, that's right. He was drawing that. And fire! Boom! Whoa! Oh, no way! We took him down. Dude, where's baby Spider-Man? Hey, where you go, man? Where you go? Oh, my goodness, he's slimed up. <laughs> no, dude, you gotta come back, man. Sir! You gotta get back up right now. Where is baby Spider-Man? Okay, fine, fine. You got me. Let me take you to baby Spider-Man. You better, because I got more rockets. You know, I can draw them. Hmm, and I can draw how to get to baby Spider-Man. I don't know 
if I trust that, though. Let me see. We need a portal. A nice round portal. It's got these corners all around. And baby Spider-Man is hiding in there. I quickly teleported him when I saw you coming up. And this fight we had, it was all a distraction. Why do you think you're so smart? I just finished a little drawing, man. Ah, yes, I will. We just need a little bit of blue for the center. Wait, but how did you figure out how to draw things and make them come to life? Ah, you see, it was I who invented it. You know, I don't believe that. Ah, but it is true. And now I'm gonna activate this portal with some powerful crystals. And now, to bring it to life, one, two, three. No way! He actually did it! All right, get out of the way. I want to enter this portal. Three, two, one. Look, it's baby Spider-Man. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, we finally rescued him. Don't worry, it's just me. Sun and Moon have captured baby Freddy. So we're going to draw all the Glamrock animatronics and rescue him. Because everything I draw on my phone becomes real. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my blue car. With this car, we can drive to the top of that radio tower where baby Freddy is at. All right, this is starting to look like it. Just Gotta put the exhaust and maybe a spoiler and some headlights, which are kind of yellow, right? So now I tap three times. One, two, three. Oh, yes, and there it is. It's in the game. And it's gone from my phone. So now let's go ahead and draw a Glamrock Chica. She's got these yellow chicken feet and then white armored legs. So this is her body. Nice and pink. She's got these shoulders as well. Just like that. Now all we gotta draw is her head, of course. So here she is with that cool hair and of course the yellow beak. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's see what works. One, two, three. And... <gasps> Yes! No way! She's here! Yo! Glamour Chica! Get into the car! We gotta rescue baby Freddy! So we're gonna drive all the way up to the radio tower. But this car is actually pretty slow! We're gonna make it faster. I am going to draw an airplane. We've got a wing. There we've got a wing. Just like that. And now let's see if we can attach that to our car. One, two, three. Oh, yes! Much better! And now it's gonna be way faster, right? Oh my! Yes! Here we go! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna crash! Watch out! Oh! Oh no! The core! Oh no, my chica! Guys, we need a doctor! We need a doctor! We are so close to baby Freddy! He's right over there! We have to bring Glamrock Chica back to life! So let's draw an ambulance! So it's basically a core with some wheels, of course! Oh, right! And some blue lights on top! Nice and bright! There we go! And all we need is a very big red cross! And maybe also a little 911, you know? Perfect! Now let's see if we can get some help for Chica! One, two, three! Alright, it's gone, so it should be in the game i don't really wait i see it over there yes sir sir over here over here please you we need our help whoa 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 dude calm down man but there you are sir yes doctor please right over here glamrock chica she needs your help here you go take a look at her come on please you gotta save her man so while the doctor is trying to revive glamrock chica we're gonna draw a glamrock freddy maybe he can help us out so these are his feet believe it or not very nice feet indeed now we're gonna draw his legs maybe freddy can help us out here there we go that's two legs now let's we need like a yellow orange for his armor. There we go. That's gonna be Glamrock Freddy, all right? All right, so now for his belly, just like this. And of course, he's got that blue lightning thing over here. Some red for his shoulders, just like that. Very Glamrock. There we go, just like that. Now for his arms. And now all we gotta do is draw his head, of course. So we've got the bottom part of his head, which is like his mouth, just like that. And a little bit more blue, a little bit more red. And his eyeballs, his beautiful top head, of course. We can't forget about that. Which also has some blue. And then his ears. Glamrock Freddy. Let's see if we can bring him to life, huh? All I gotta do is tap my phone screen three times. One, two, three. All right, it's gone for my phone. So it should be in the game now. To really see it. Don't wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Wait, we are ready. But that's great. Glamrock Chica, I will come back to you. Let's steal this ambulance. Let's go see if we can rescue Freddy. Can we ram through this fence? Come on. Down. Oh, jeez, Louise. No, we cannot. Three, two, one, go. Oh, well, beautiful. Right over there, guys. That is where baby Freddy is at. Oh, what happened here? Sun and Moon also gonna bury baby Freddy. Wait, what? Ah, oh. oh, no. Oh, no. What are those things? Guys, what are those things? I can't really see. Oh, I've got an idea. The sniper. We gotta draw a sniper. Oh, uh, let's see. We need color black. Then it's got a long barrel. It's got like a thingy over here. Handle and a trigger. It's got a stock over here. Then I think a scope on here, right? Yeah, that kind of looks like a sniper. All right. One, two, three. Ha! Yes, it worked. Right, so now we can take a closer look without getting too close. Oh, ew. What are those things? Are those spring traps? They are right at the front door where baby Freddy is at. Right, you know what? Maybe we can sneak around and see if we can get in here. Wait, 
I can see them. I can literally see baby Freddy over there. And sun and moon. We can't jump in here. We are not strong enough. They're just gonna destroy us. You know what, guys? I've got a plan. We're gonna go into the back over here. Now, we're gonna go ahead and draw some friends. This right here is gonna be Monty. He's got these purple feet, just like that. And then this big green alligator body. There we go. Just like that. Finish off his legs. Now for his body, like this. Just a little bit of a lighter color. And just like the other animatronics, he's got these shoulder pads, you know? Looks very armored. And these are purple wall. You know what, guys? If you're watching, this. Post a comment saying purple Monty. That's me drawing purple Monty. That doesn't look so good. One arm and that's two arm. Oh man. Kind of rushing but I want to get baby Freddy out of here you know. Just like that and a lot of big mouth action. Right, that sounded a little weird. Just gonna color that in. There we go. And since Monty is a crocodile he's got these really big teeth you know just like this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Monty the big alligator or crocodile dude. Nice. All we need now are some eyeballs. There we go. But oh, then he needs those glasses of course. So he's got like stars on some kind of black frame like this. And I shouldn't forget his red hair of course. <laughs> That's a Monty, alright? He's gonna help us out, guys. Come on. One, two, three. Hey, check it out. It worked. Hey, Monty, how you doing? See, he does have those sunglasses, huh? Alright, listen up, Monty. I need you to go over there and distract all of the spring traps. And I'm gonna draw a jetpack so I can fly over the wall. And then I can rescue baby Freddy. Cool? Perfect. There he goes. Oh my goodness, he has no fear. All right, you know what? We're quickly gonna draw a, uh, what's a jetpack? I think it's got some kind of motor right over here, just like that. And then it's got some feet it can stand on and some weird things that you can hold on to with, like, controllers over here. Yeah, that looks kind of like it. One, two, let's see how it works. Three! Right, it's gone, but again, I don't see it. Suit powered on. Any, what, what, what was that? That's a suit powered on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yes, guys, we can fly. We can actually fly. I drew superpowers. Wait, wait, wait. Go back down. Go back down. There you go. That gives me an idea. So this is the Freddy drawing that we made, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and select red. And I'm gonna give him some laser eyes just like that. All right, let's see if that works. One, two, three. Yo, look at this. We get laser eyes. <laughs> That's so cool. That was crazy. All right, let's see if we can rescue Monty. Whoa. Wait, Monty is on the ground? Oh, get out of here. Come on. We gotta laser all these spring traps. That's right. That's how you do it. And slam. Wait. Wow, that dude literally disappeared. Oh, no, Monty. Guys, we gotta open this gate. And bang. That's right. Open this up. We're gonna wreck the place. Here we go. Oh, and now Moon wants to fight us. Bring it on, buddy. You think you're so tough, huh? I have drawn my own superpowers. Now I am gonna draw some nuclear powers for us. That's right, Moon. Keep punching us. Good job. You're, you're trying. You're trying. <laughs> but what I've drawn is a little too strong for you, my man. And then we are gonna have radioactive powers. Oh, yes. All right, that looks a little bad, but you guys get the point, right? As long as my phone gets the point, it should be okay. Because, I mean, otherwise it's not gonna be a real thing, you know? All right, let's see what happens. One, two, three. Whoa! Big power up! And blast! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh no, wait! Where's baby Freddy? Oh no, it was a distraction! Oh no, oh no, look at the rocket! I think Sun has gotten into it! Along with baby Freddy, oh no! We gotta stop it! How do we stop this rocket from going up? Bang! Come on, hit it! Oh, and there it goes, there it goes! No, Freddy, please, you gotta survive this impact! <gasps> but they landed! There they are! Oh my goodness, no way! Guys, we gotta open this up. Nice and careful. We cannot use our laser eyes, guys. We have to use the torch gun. It's this weird little thing that has sparks coming out of it. There we go, just like that. And it's got a very small tip thing over here. And there's all kinds of, like, blue sparks. A little bit of purple, even, I think. And some regular fire colors, of course. There we go. Nice. All right, so that should be it. Let's see if we can get it done. Three, two, one. Oh, yes, perfect. Look. It actually worked. Oh, that's beautiful. Not a bad draw, right? Come on, you gotta cut it open, Freddy. Nice and careful. Nice and careful. Don't burn your hand, all right? Don't burn your hand. There you go. Beautiful. Now for the last bit. Aha. And there he is, Mr. Sun. Where is baby Freddy, buddy? If you don't tell me fast, there's gonna be some really bad things happening really soon. Oh, and there he is. Hey, Freddy, buddy. How you doing? <gasps> You're still alive. That's great. Oh. 
Guys, we totally rescued him. Are you there? Get out of here. Anything that I draw on my phone is gonna come to life in GTA 5. Hobby is stuck over at the Playtime Factory and we need to rescue her. But we can't do this alone. So let's draw Huggy Wuggy starting with his body. We're gonna give him some arms and some legs. And when we are done drawing him, we're gonna tap three times. And he should be right here in GTA 5. He's gonna help us rescue Poppy. Alright, so let's color him in just like that. And now let's draw his face. Ooh, that's his head kind of, right? We have seen Huggy Wuggy many times, but to draw him is kind of difficult. Alright, now we're gonna draw his mouth with some teeth, of course. Look at that, and I wonder if this is gonna work. Alright, let's give him his eyes just like that. Alright, so this looks pretty good. One, two, three! Oh, and it worked! He's right here! And look, he's gone from my phone! Wow, so we brought him to life! Now we gotta get out of here, so let's draw a car. And it's gonna be Huggy Wuggy's car, of course. Let's see if we can make that happen. It was a really weird car. It had, like, stripes on it. It also had a little bit of red stuff. I just don't know where. I'm just gonna put it a little bit over here, you know? Alright, guys, Huggy's car. One, two, three! Oh, and it's gone, and it's in-game! Look at this! Come on, Huggy, get in! Hoppy is right over there at the factory, but we can't get there! We're gonna draw my speedboat. So I'm gonna do a top-down view. It's got seats right over here. And like a spoiler thing at the back. Also some buoys over here. Yes, and there's some kind of big edge around it. And of course a windscreen with a steering wheel. Let's definitely make it nice and blue though. Just like this. And that should be my speedboat. We gotta get to Poppy. So one, two, three. Oh, and it's gone again. It worked. We got a boat. We just need someone to drive the boat. So let's draw Kissy Missy. So this is gonna be her face. This is gonna be her body. Oh, wait. Gotta move it up a little bit. Guess otherwise her legs don't fit. All right, this is looking kind of weird. Kissy Missy is really good at driving boats, so she's gonna help us get to the factory. All right, let's give her hands, just like Huggy Wuggy, just like that. And some feet, of course. Oh, this is so nice. There we go. Now we gotta draw that scary face again. I wonder if we also have to draw Poppy, or is she already at the factory? What if we gotta draw her and bring Poppy to life as well? We're gonna find out about it. We're also gonna find out if Kissy Missy can come to life. This is so funny, guys. There she is. That kind of looks like Kissy Missy, right? Well, you know what we're gonna do? Two, one, two, three. Oh no! Wait, what happened? Wait, she's off my screen, but have we become Kissy Missy? Oh no, that's bad. Huggy, come with us, man. All right, so we're in the boat that we drew. Now we're gonna go to the factory that, quite frankly, we didn't draw. All right, where is Poppy? I don't even see her. Where is she? She was supposed to be right over here. Oh man, oh man. Wait, guys, there was like a portal here. Yes, I remember seeing that. So what if we draw a portal? So the outside was like a dark gray. All right, that is not a circle. But it's gonna have to do. We gotta make it a little thicker. There we go. Just like that is starting to look like it. But then there were these weird weird things on top, right? We need a different color, though. Can we make this a little darker? Yes, we can. Check this out. So if we open this portal, maybe we can find and rescue Poppy. Look at Huggy, though. He's trying to hide over there. <laughs> Alright, so this kind of looks like the portal, right? Wait, no, that's not the right color. Gotta make this a little lighter. And then we can color it in. Yes, that looks like the portal, right? Did it look like, again, something... Yeah, something like that, huh? I think this is pretty close, right? It's not easy drawing all this stuff. We got the portal, so now you guys know what to do, right? One, two, three. Well, the portal is gone. I don't really see... Oh, wait, here it is! That looks pretty close, right? All right, hide over there, Huggy. We're gonna go in. Three, two, one, jump! Whoa! Yo, where are we? <gasps> what happened to my boat? <laughs> What happened to Huggy? Oh no, Huggy, are you okay? Oh, that's so sad. Where's Bobby, though? We're gonna draw Mrs. Huggy Wuggy in just a second. Maybe she knows, but first... We gotta draw something for our buddy Huggy over here. Look at him. He deserves a tombstone. Rest in peace, Huggy. All right, here we go. Burying Huggy. One, two, three. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, no. Now we gotta find Poppy somewhere here. So let's run all the way to the top. Ah, yes, here we are. And now we're gonna draw Mrs. Huggy Wuggy. So this is her head. And she's kind of spiky, right? We're gonna make her nice and spike. There we go. So that's her head. Here comes her body. Oh, that's really small. But that's fine. There we go. Just like that. And a leg. Not a leg. Arm one and arm two. There we go. Mrs. Huggy Wuggy is gonna help us find Poppy. I wonder where she is, though. All right, let's see. We gotta get a mouth. But Mrs. Huggy Wuggy has this big smile, you know? Yes, kind of like that. Oh. All right, now we gotta get white. So let's grab that. Because she has some big eyes, of course. There we go. Just like that. Now for this one. And that's the kind of Mrs. Huggy Wuggy. Please, we need our help. We really do. All right. One, two, three. It's off my phone and... Oh, yes! Mrs. Huggy Wuggy, listen up. We need to find Poppy and rescue her. <coughs> Alright, let's draw Killy Willy. Starting with his legs now. I think he has kind of black 
feet as well. And he's got those weird wide nails, you know? Awesome! Now for his belly. He's got a really weird, scary belly where he's got like a mouth there. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying, I gotta say. All right, so these are his arms. And then for his hands, he's got those weird long nails. It's almost like a claw, kind of like this, you know? Oh, yes, that looks beautiful. But now, we gotta draw his mouth. And I don't mean in his face. It's right over here in his belly. Ew. Oh, but this is looking absolutely beautiful right now. Let's go for white. And then make some teeth inside of here. <laughs> now, his head is pretty similar to Huggy Wuggy, I think. Whoa. Kind of like this, right? We gotta get that in there. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. He's gotta help us out, you know? So let's go for red and just put a little bit right over here. And then a little over here. Beautiful. He does still need the scary mouth, of course. Fill that up a little bit. There you go. And give this some teeth as well. And ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a Killy Willy who's gonna help us find Poppy. We're gonna tap him. One, two, brace yourself. Three! Ooh, the drawing is gone, which means it has worked. It's in-game. And look at that. Killy Willy is here! Oh no, big trouble. Yo, what can we draw to get her in here? Oh, a helicopter. All right, we can do that. Let's see. We're just gonna make uh, this. Then a helicopter has like a thing at the back with a rotor. A little glass window. Um, a little door, I think. All right, and then all we need is some landing gear, I think. Just like this. Well, if that is not a helicopter, guys, I don't even know anymore. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna tap it. Tap, tap, tap. All right, I think it worked. My phone is nice and empty. Ooh, and look at this. It worked perfectly. All right, Killy Willy, let's go, man. All right, buddy, so uh, where do we go? If Poppy is on the moon, I can just draw it. All right, Killy Willy, take the wheel. Uh, actually, I don't think there's a wheel in a helicopter. Anyway, gotta get a nice light-ish gray. Yes, and then we're just gonna make a nice irregular moon shape. Because there's a bunch of craters and stuff, right? Like this. All right, nice. Now let's go ahead and color that in. That is gonna be our moon. Is Poppy really on the moon? I thought she was at the factory. This is so weird. Unless there is a new playtime factory wow. and it's on the moon somehow. All right, there we go. One nice moon. Let's see if we can get it in here. Three. Oh, no way. It worked because I see, yes, a giant moon. All right, now let's see if we can find Poppy up on the moon. Oh my goodness, I think this is it. It's another factory. How is that possible? I'm just glad it sort of worked. All right, here we go. We're gonna land. Beautiful. And we're also gonna try and find Poppy. Where is she? <coughs> Wait, we're gonna have to draw her. <coughs> Oh, really? All right, fine. We're gonna start off with some dark blue because Poppy has got that dress just like that. And there's some white at the bottom. Looking very nice. Now we gotta draw her body and her little sleeves, of course. Nice. So Poppy has a pretty creepy little face, you know. And that's all we're drawing next. Just like that. Also give her some hands, of course. Beautiful hands. These hands are beautiful. And some really cute tiny little feet. Look at that. Oh. He's also got some blushy things right over here. Here, and some pretty big scary eyeballs. Now, for her iconic red hair. She is gonna look just like Poppy. Look at this. Oh, I'm actually proud of my drawing, guys. And we should, of course, not forget her cute little mom. <laughs> Let's see if we can get Poppy in here. One, two, three. She's gone. She's in the game. And look at that. It's actual Poppy. Guys, thank you for watching it. Check out these videos. I screen right now.